So I'm designing this drain in Autodesk Inventor, and I seem to always forget how to make this hexagonal pattern here. So I thought I'd make a video for myself and others so that we would not forget how to quickly put that together so that you can let, say, a fluid flow through here and then catch in the bottom. So let me uh, back up a little bit, and then I'll show uh, us, that includes me, how to make that. So I'm going to pause the video right quick. So here you you see that I've removed the hexagonal pattern. Now I'm going to hide this thing uh, below so that we can just focus on making the lid that has that holy pattern on it. I'm just going to use this half section view to hide the bottom of it right here. So I want to draw on this top surface and um, then make the pattern that I'm interested in extruding. Okay, so one of the things I did at the very beginning, and this is not something you necessarily have to do, is you set up some parameters in here. So let me change the name of this one right here. Let's just call this one like F for like flat to flat distance for a hexagon, and we'll call that seven millimeters. And here we'll call this, oh, did it conflict with something else? Okay, so let me just make a new one then. So let's add a new one down here. This will be the flat to flat distance, and I'll also call it. Oh, it's already got a variable called that. All right, so never mind. I'll just use x for the flat to flat distance, and t for the separation between them. You'll see what I'm talking about as I begin to do this. Okay, am I supposed to delete this? Comedy of errors. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to use the X and the T, and you'll see how I'm going to do that in a second. So let's right-click on this and begin our sketch. I have it so that it doesn't automatically face my sketch. I'm going to use this one right here to look at, center it up. The first thing I want to do is just uh, establish a boundary about when the cuts should stop. So we really don't want this hexagonal pattern to extend beyond this projected geometry that I'm selecting in yellow. Right, so just use the projected geometry tool. Next thing I want to do is to find the, the center of this. And I'm always uh, in kind of a pattern where I put a origin in the center of this. So since my part is not at the origin, I'm going to make it, you can see it even goes outside of this boundary here. There we go, lock that in. And let's go ahead and just make it the other way as well. So we find the midpoint there and the midpoint over here. Then we start putting our hexagons in there. We're going to do that right here. Now, uh, that is the wrong kind. So Control Z, I need to make sure it's solid lines like this. It's going to be pretty small, so it's probably a little too big there. Um, but when we make this dimension, you can either type in right here, seven millimeters, or what I did was I just made it so that I could type in the variable X so I can change it later on and I'll show you what that does. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is start making this pattern. And you, you might think that you wanna like start drilling holes and stuff like that and make the pattern that way. You certainly could if you have a solid object, but I'm gonna show you that uh, for me, it's a little easier to make the, the grill or the grid uh, by extruding a sketch rather than by duplicating holes. You'll see what I mean as we go to rectangular pattern. Oops, I forgot something. There's something else we got to do here. Um, as you go in here, we need these two lines here um, just to find the center, but we're going to also need one more that is perpendicular to one of these sides like that. Okay, so it's red. I'm not really sure why that turns out to be red when we do that. Um, Let's see if it'll, if it'll still work. So making the rectangular pattern, the, the geometry we want to select is of course this shape here, but I'm gonna do a shift click on that because we don't want that to be part of the pattern. And you see that the direction we wanna go is along that line. So direction is this one. Now for some reason, it doesn't always let me select that uh, direction. I'm not really sure why. So let me come back here and see if we can change um, this line right here into a solid line and see if it'll behave differently. It's weird how it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. We'll go like that, but we don't want to uh, let that be 
part of the pattern, but we do want this to be part of the pattern. And it works. Weird. Okay, so then the distance we want to do them, or, or make the pattern rather, is not just a distance of x. So you can see that right there, we put it right here. We want to do x plus the gap, which we said was t. So there's seven millimeters from here uh, to there until we add the gap. So it's basically uh, the distance from here to right there is x plus t. Now, what we want to do is do this pattern a lot. I'm just going to say 22, for example, go both directions and make sure it extends beyond the edge. That does look good. All right. Now, the other direction we want to go is uh, perhaps this direction here. And let's see if that's going to be x plus t again. I have a feeling that it might be. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So we don't have to do any of the square root of three or anything like that, as long as we're doing this approach here. So I'm going to say 25 on this one. Then maybe go both directions. And you can see I remembered the settings from before. Believe it or not, we're almost done. It's a little bit computer intensive, but I found it to be more so when you had to draw uh, to drill a hole and then drill multiple holes. So what you extrude in this case is the gap. You don't extrude the hexagons. Because if you had to go through here, each one of these, and click on them, that would be time consuming. Well, watch this right here. You go just like that, and it brings you all the way up to the edge right there. And we'll just do like a two millimeter gap on it. Click OK. And then we might be done. And what I can do is hide this uh, work plane. Let's see, visibility, like that. And would you look at that? So, um, what about the X and the T? I mean, you can go in there and change them um, manually, uh, but I'd prefer to go in here like this and say, suppose you want bigger holes, so you just type in 10 millimeters, and then uh, let's see what happens. So you're basically redesigning the size of your, your uh, mesh um, by changing these parameters. So suppose you want a little bit of more thickness uh, in your um, mesh, that'd be this distance right here, that small distance. And you see it's going to open up like this. So you can kind of play around with it to see what's going to look good, uh, depending on what you're trying to look for. And then finally, we can go back over here to our half section. And then we can say, delete the section view. And we can see how it looks. So that's how you kind of can play around with the design on this. Let me hide this one right here. It's kind of showing down there. And I'm gonna see how that seven looked. I mean, it looked pretty good. Seven millimeter, let's try seven and a three. So for the X distance, that's the flat to flat distance. Let's see if it's gonna use, oh, we could use seven inches for some reason. So let me put it back in millimeters. Okay, we don't wanna do Y, certainly not because we don't even have a Y defined. And then down here, see how that's going to look. Oh, it kind of did it automatically for us. We do a three uh, millimeters and click. Oh yeah, I'm kind of, I mean, we could have gone with that, but I'm, I'm kind of liking the two that we had initially. Let's see if that's going to look okay. Okay, <laughs> for some reason, it didn't extend well beyond the borders like it was supposed to. Not really sure why that is. Let's hit Control Z a couple of times, bring it back. There was that one inch hole that I was talking about. I remember a moment ago, yeah, we had it splashed out like that. Yeah, I'm kind of liking it right there. Let's make sure that that is the proper settings that I had. Oh, 10 and 2. Let's go hit uh, Control Z one more time. Or is this correct? Okay, 7 and 2 is actually what we have here. All right, then we can go back over to the view and delete this. And I think I'm going to go with that. Try to print this out. See if this will work as a drain. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next video.